How can you help control soil erosion? Let's read the direction. It says here, use the related graph or the discriminant of each equation to determine how many real number solutions. Real number solutions. Real number. What are the real numbers? Real numbers are the numbers that we use for counting or for measuring distance. And what is not a real number? Imaginary numbers are not real numbers. So, for example, square root of uh, negative 4. This is equal to 2i. i for imaginary. Square root of negative 16. This is 4i. Then you will say, uh, are those existing? Yes, we use them to measure the number of uh, electrons and protons that are flowing in an electric wire, which is really important because this might cause a fire in the house. So it is important that the, elect, uh, the engineers then measure the uh, protons and electrons. So for their x coordinate, they use the i. For the y coordinate, they use the j. And for their uh, z coordinate, they use the k. Now, for square root of 4 and square root of 16, these are positive and negative 2, positive and negative 4. These are real numbers. Then you will say counting distance, so it should be a positive number. Yes, for distance it is positive, but if the distance is negative, it only implies that you already uh, turn to the opposite direction. So the negative only indicates the direction of your motion. Now let's go back to real number solutions. We know already the real number. Then the real number solutions are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis, or they are the x-intercept, or they are the zeros of an equation. Now, if the graph is given, for example, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, and your graph is like this. So how many times that your graph cross the x-axis? We have one, two. So we have two, meaning we have two real number solution. Now what if the graph never touches or crosses the x-axis. So for example, this. So if your graph never touches the x-axis, you don't have any real number solution. So you have no real number solution. Because the solution will be imaginary. So for number one to number three, you just need to determine how many times the graph crosses the x-axis or touches the x-axis. Now for number 4 to number 11, to determine the number of solutions, you need to use your discriminant. And what is a discriminant? Remember your quadratic formula? So the b squared minus 4ac inside the square root, this is your discriminant. Now, if your discriminant is greater than 0, so b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then you will have two real number solution. Now, if your b squared or discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you have one real number solution. Now, if your b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, meaning you have imaginary solutions. Now, let's discuss number 4 to 11. Let's try number 7. So, number 7, we have 2x squared is equal to 4x minus 3. Now, to do this, we need to make it a pattern into ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, meaning everything on the left side 
and nothing left in the right side. So, we are moving the 4 x and the negative 3 into the left side. Now, it is positive 4 x, so we need to subtract 4 x. And it is positive uh, negative 3, so we need to add 3 both sides. So, we have negative 4 x and plus 3. So, now 4 x minus 4 x is 0, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Then, arrange it according to the exponent. So, we have 2 x squared minus 4 x plus c is equal to 0. Now, in our quadratic equation, the coefficient of x squared will be our a. The coefficient of x will be our b. And this will be the constant. So, this will be, I'm sorry, this will be 3. Okay, so I have C is equal to 3. Then we can use our discriminant. So we have B squared minus 4AC. So your B is negative 4 minus 4, your A is 2, your C is 3. So negative 4 squared meaning negative 4 multiplied by negative 4, which is 16. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8, multiplied by 3 is 24. So 16 minus 24 will be negative 8. So we have a negative answer. The discriminant is negative, meaning it's less than 0. So we will have imaginary solution. So meaning no real number solution. So, for number 7, we will have no real number solutions. So, we have for number 7 is letter H. So, this is number 7, you will write H here. Then, let's try uh, number 11. I know you hate fractions, so let's do the fraction. So, 1 third T squared plus 3 is equal to 2 T. Of course, what we need to do is we need to move the 2t to the left side to make the right side 0, so minus 2t, minus 2t. Then arrange it according to exponents, so 1 third t squared minus 2t plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, let's get rid of the fraction. Because I know you hate fractions, so let's get rid of it. How can we do that? We will multiply everything by the denominator, which is 3. So we will multiply all the terms into 3. So this will be 3 over 3 will be 1. So we have t squared. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Uh, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And this will be zero because anything you multiply by uh, zero is still zero now you have a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero so your a will be one your b is equal to negative six and your c is nine now let's do the discriminant b squared minus four a c so your b is negative six your a is 1 and your c is 9. So negative 6 squared is equal to 36. 4 multiplied by 9 is also 36. 36 minus 36 will be equal to 0, meaning you will have one solution. So one solution for number 11, so we have letter B. So for number 11, write down letter B. So this is how you will work on this worksheet.